Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a slow mobile cellular data. So now there's multiple reasons why your cellular data or mobile data may be slow on your iPhone, and there's things you can do to help it regain the speed that you're looking for or increase the speed. So let's get started. So the very first thing, whenever you're having cellular data problem, it's probably to best to check the cellular data zone that you're in. Sometimes it helps to move to a different location if you can, maybe 10, 15 feet away, just to see if your cellular mobile data improves on that. Now that's the simplest way to kind of get your speed back. Now, if you're having other issues, it's time to do this very first fix, which is turning it on and off your phone's network, doing a quick refresh by turning on airplane mode and give it a moment and turn it back off. And what that does, it refreshes your phone's network. So if there's any sort of cellular connectivity issue, it will resolve those issues. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is a quick force restart of your phone. So in order to do that, we're going to do press volume up and then volume down one after another really quick and then hold this big side button on the right hand side till the phone goes completely black. So it's volume up volume down and I'm going to hold that side button and we're going to keep on holding it we're not going to slide to power off we're just going to keep on holding that side button just like I am until we see the screen go black and then we're going to wait till the Apple logo reappears before we let go of that button and then we let go of that button now what that is doing is reloading the phone's code so if there was any software related issue that may be impacting our phone's cellular data or mobile data it will resolve those issues for us so just give it a moment and wait for the phone to restart. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data, like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. Everything will still be there. It's just, again, reloading the phone's code. From time to time, you need to kind of do that force restart to give your phone a fresh reboot again. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to check out is in your settings of your uh, phone, you're going to go into your App Store settings and see for some applications there might be cellular data updates that are happening so you what you want to do is turn off this app update and downloads automatic so this will kind of see temporarily take a look at to see if that helps and this one as well all three of these just to see what happens with the app itself generally you want these on because this will ensure that your apps are always up to date which is important when it comes to making sure your phone uh, apps are functioning correctly but this is a quick temporary check to see if that regains your speed also the other thing you want to do in your settings of your phone is go to general here and then look for background app refresh and this one generally you might have it to be set where it might be on Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data now it's important that if you're having slow internet uh, on your cellular data plan maybe to turn this off completely and check it out what app back app refresh does is that it's constantly pulling data but even when you open up app it will reload that data so you don't need this app to run in the background because that will gonna consume up your data and making it slower for the apps that you need your cellular data to work correctly. Now after you have checked that, the next thing you want to go ahead and check is gonna be, I'm gonna show you on the iPhone 13 Pro Max here. If you go into your setting of your cellular data, this one has cellular data for example, what you'll notice is there's an option under setting cellular, cellular data options and if you click on that, you want to check out your data mode. Now it's important to check this out. The reason why it is is that sometimes if you or have this low data mode on, just like that, if that is on, that's going to limit your data usage, which again will slow down your speed. So I recommend going with the highest one here, which allows more data on 5G or 4G LTE, or go with the standard one. Either top two will do you better but remember that will consume up more data but that should increase your slow mobile data issue do not use the low data mode if you want the best speed for your cellular data now after you have done that the next thing you want to check if you have a phone that like the iphone 13 pro max here that has a sim card in we recommend taking the sim card out and then reinserting it back in so you need a sim ejector tool like this and then you'll put it in here or if you have a paper clip you can also do that same thing and all that will do is just quickly take the sim card out and then put the sim card back in and this will not uh, delete anything on your phone your phone number and everything still stay the same it will refresh your cellular data 
connecting and the cellular network itself if you're having issues before it will resolve it for you and it's a quick way to do a quick you know on and off for the network itself now moving on to other things you can do if you're still having issues around it it's going to be making sure your app is also up to date so let's say you're having the cellular data issue with maybe facebook or youtube and it's not working properly it's important to check in the app store so there's an update out for that app itself to do that you're going to go open up app store you're going to click on the profile icon here and then you'll click on there's two ways to do it. Usually you can search up the app or you can see all the updates that are required for these apps. As you can see, all of these apps have a new update out. So let's say if I had an issue with YouTube, all I do is update. You can update all of them at once, which recommended on do it on Wi-Fi if you're having cell, slow de cellular data, but you can click on that update all as well or pick individual one for the moment that you're looking to speed up your cellular uh, data. Now after you have done that and you're still having the issue, the next thing check out in your settings is if you have under settings general and then you want to check out any BPN connections if you have set up any BPN setting and turn the BPN off. And the reason why you want to turn off a BPN is because BPN kind of tunnels through it and it kind of prevents the data at the highest speed possible. So you want to turn that off for the moment that you want higher speed cellular data. Now after you have done that, the next thing you also want to turn off is if you're using cellular mobile or hotspot. So if you have in your settings here and if you're using, for example, for this one, if you had set up a personal hotspot, it will appear right here. You want to go ahead and turn that off. So you, if you have it, it will show up under here where it says cellular data a hotspot right turn hotspot off because what is happening is if you're using hotspot on your mobile to another device it's also trying to use the same data plan so it will limit the data usage on one phone in order to accommodate the other one so it's best to turn it off now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issue is doing a quick network a reset in order to do that it's going to be really simple you're going to be in settings here it will general go all the way down here and then look for transfer a reset iPhone and then you click on the very first option for reset the reset that we want to do is the second one which is network reset settings and this will delete things like saved Wi-Fi password any VPN setting any Bluetooth connections and also refresh the network settings of cellular data so if there is a cellular data network related issue with your phone this will resolve it generally this will take about a minute or two and it is safe to do it will not delete your personal data like photos videos apps everything will still be there on your phone now after you have done that and you're still having issues the next thing to make sure is phone is up to date with the latest software version and again this time we're going to be in settings again and this time we're going to general software update and look to see if there's an update out you should see that your iOS should be up to date if you have the latest version up to date. If you don't, if you need to update your phone, you'll probably see something like this where you go settings, general, software update. It will check for update. If there's an update, it will appear like this where it says download and install. You click on and download and install. But to order to in order to do this update, I recommend that you do it whenever you're connected to a Bluetooth. I mean to Wi-Fi, a good Wi-Fi, because if you're having slow or uh data plan that isn't really working well it won't be able to download the update and it'll take much longer so do it whenever you have a good wi-fi and you're connected to a power source or have at least 50 percent or more charge on your phone and it's important to do that so if a previous update is causing cellular data issue which sometimes happens with carriers updating their data options all the time it's important that your phone is up to date as well now after you have done that and none of these steps are working, most likely you need to contact your carrier or the company that you're getting, sell your data from and let them know because sometimes it could be an issue on their end which they might need to refresh your phone's network setting or push a new update out if there's a new update out and that could help you with any slow or cellular data that's not working for you. So hopefully this video is helpful in resolving your slow cellular or mobile data issue that you're having if so please make sure that like and subscribe but also do let us know if you found a better way to fix this issue in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time